I'm betting that you have experienced copycat syndrome at least once in your business. And today I had a little bit of an insight into just how much I was letting it influence some of my thinking and some of my fears and barriers to growth in my own business. Now, nobody likes to be called a copycat, nobody likes to be copied. And most of us would think that copycat syndrome is where you're being copied by others. But actually what I'm talking about is the fear that we might be copying somebody else's idea inadvertently. Now, as you know, I've had a number of mentors in my business journey and I still seek mentoring to this day. And of course, that's where I am at the moment. I'm in a three day intensive workshop with my current mentor and she mentioned this term, copycat syndrome, and we got talking about it. And I realized that this is one of the things keeping me stuck at the moment, trying too hard to differentiate myself from those who have gone before me. And in doing that, there's nothing wrong with being unique. There's nothing wrong with striving for uniqueness. But in my own thinking, there was just a little bit of a fear-based, uh, what's the word? A fear-based assumption that I might be copying others inadvertently and actually letting that fear-based assumption limit some of the work that I do or some of the work that I offer. So by I guess by becoming aware that that was a fear for me, by becoming aware that not only was I fearful that I might be inadvertently reproducing the works of others, I actually also through the process of today was able to demonstrate that what I do is actually quite unique. What I do is I do have a process for the work that I do with my mentoring clients and that process is actually pretty clear. And it's a process that I've developed over time through the work that I've done with my mentoring clients and responding to their needs. So the process that I use to mentor my clients is born of the needs that my clients bring to me. So I'm not going to let copycat syndrome or fear that I might be copying others steal my energy anymore because that's what these fears do no matter what the fear is whether it's fear of judgment or fear that you might be copying somebody else or fear that somebody else is copying you it's all scarcity driven fear-based stuff and it sucks the life out of your energy and it keeps you small so for me it's about learning that i'd been doing that to myself just through these little chattering monkeys here i'd been doing that to myself and if I release that fear, if I just let it go and trust, this is a big thing. If I can just trust that what I do is uniquely me, I will do my best work. I will help my clients in the best way I can because I'm responding to their needs. I've developed my processes over the time that I've worked with my clients and I found a way that is uniquely mine. So make sure you're trusting what you're doing. Make sure that you're not letting fears get in the way of your own growth. Try and identify what those fears are. Put a label on them and uh, then throw them away and let your energy blossom. Bye for now.